class for the University of Tennessee. 30,000 students are back on campus today and there are some pretty big changes this year. Yeah, it starts with a new dining facility on the west side of campus. The three story 80,000 square foot building took $47 million in five years of planning and building to be able to open this fall. Students can find dining options on all three floors, including a new Chick-fil-A on the bottom. It seats just over 1,200 students. It's a massive improvement from the former West Campus Dining Hall, which only sat 600. The new dining facility facility is just one more amenity and a long list of new campus buildings that have gone up in the last decade. We are experiencing over the last 10 years, I would say the largest uh, transformation or constructional construction boom since the 1960s. We want to make sure that the students have everything they need when they get here. That it's, uh, it's really, it, we're really creating the comforts of home away from home. The pedestrian walkway was also extended by about four blocks. It creates a park like atmosphere with tables and a new bike lane. And as Heather wow, said, a lot, it's a lot of change. It's like a whole new campus from when you were there 15 years ago. It's Crazy. so different. All right. Well, students will also see some changes because of COVID-19. Students are required to wear masks in class and labs. The university is strongly encouraging students to follow CDC guidelines in all other indoor spaces, but is not requiring them. UT is also recommending vaccines. Free COVID tests will be available at the Student Health Center. Let's send it back over to Mike.